There are five US flags standing on Earth's moon. The oldest has been there for a few days shy of 45 years. What happened to them? Are they still there? Are they okay? Hello world, Trace here for D News, and happy United States Independence Day, everybody. Today in 1776, the Declaration of Independence was adopted and printed. In the US, this means a lot of fireworks, food, and flags around, you know, the 4th of July. Which got me thinking about our loneliest flags the ones up on the moon. There are six American flags on our moon, one from each successful Apollo landing, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17. The nylon flags were manufactured by Annan flag makers in New Jersey and cost a whopping $5.50 at the time. They were literally the same flag that you could get off the shelf. The moon is unownable under the Outer Space Treaty, so the flags that were put there were never meant as a symbol that we conquered the moon. It was purely ceremonial, something to help humanize the achievement of putting a human on the moon. On Earth, a flagpole is a pretty simple thing, but taking one that can be set up on the moon took multiple engineers considering everything from the lunar regolith or soil to the mobility of an astronaut in their suit. These NASA engineers produced the lunar flag assembly, which looks like this. And it's essentially a set of interlocking vertical poles with an attached nylon flag. As the moon doesn't have an atmosphere, the engineers added a telescoping curtain rod-like horizontal pole at the top to hold the flag out. Astronauts couldn't extend it all the way, however. Something went wrong, which is why the flags look kind of rippled in photos. Without wind or an atmosphere, the flags only move when something acts on them, like when astronauts were setting them up or when a rocket blast blows by them. Buzz Aldrin thought that he saw the Apollo 11 flag fall over during their takeoff to meet the command module when they left the moon in 1969. But in 2012, his suspicions were confirmed by data from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter. But we'll come back to that. So assuming the flags are still standing, what would they look like now? These nylon flags were put up and left for 45 years. 45 years of alternative 14 days of sunlight and 212 degree heat and 14 days of darkness and negative 238 degree cold, plus bombardment from cosmic and ultraviolet radiation, micrometeors, charged particles. Have you ever looked at a book that you left in a window or on a bookshelf in sunlight for a while? Notice how the color fades? This is the super intense version of that, multiplied by four and a half decades. The nylon fabric wasn't exactly made to last forever, it just had to look good for the landing ceremony. By 2014, experts say our flags are at best simply sun-bleached white nylon, and at worst, have completely eroded and sun-rotted and turned to dust. The flagpoles are made of anodized aluminum, so they're fine. Of course, we don't know any of this for sure. We can't point a telescope at the moon and check because the three by five foot flags are just too small to see. There is a ray of hope though, no pun intended, because remember the data from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter I mentioned? In 2012, the LRO pointed its cameras at the Apollo landing sites to see what condition the sites were in. They could easily see the lunar modules, but they also spotted shadows nearby the flags. They're there. At the sites of Apollo 12, 16, and 17, they could see the shadow of that lunar flag assembly. Some of these still cast tiny rectangular shadows onto the ground, and they think, though they're not 100% sure, that they're still there. Although, remember, they're still kind of small. So maybe, just maybe, there is some of old glory left clinging to those flagpoles sitting in the silence of our moon. Happy Independence Day, everybody. What do you think? Should we send more flags to the moon or other places? Come tell us, and thanks for watching. We love you guys. And if you want more than just science news from us, check out our new sister show, Test Tube. It covers world events and trending topics like what jihad really means, why FIFA might be like a war profiteer, what ISIS is doing over in Iraq, and which country's kings would be most like those in Game of Thrones. We make the news more relevant to you, and we make you sound smart at parties, so come check it out. Hit subscribe now and get the Test Tube show every day, just like on D News. Thanks for watching.